astronomers' new theory for the alien megastructure. Last year astronomers saw Tabby's star mysteriously brightening, and dimming. One theory suggests this was caused by megastructure called a Dyson Sphere. Researchers now believe a ringed planet in close orbit of the star is responsible. Tilted rings, and the planet passing in front of the star could explain its blinking. Tabby's star may have revealed the early years of such a ringed planet. The mysterious blinking of a star that has baffled scientists since it was discovered in 2015 may finally have been explained. Dimming of Tabby's star, known officially as Kik 462852, but named colloquially for Tabby the boy Aegean who first discovered it, has left experts perplexed. Some have suggested that an alien megastructure, perhaps a Dyson sphere used to generate energy, may be responsible for the unusual activity. Now a new theory has offered a more mundane solution to the puzzle, in the form of a ringed Saturn-like planet. Researchers from the University of Antioquia in Colombia made the claim in a paper published on the ArcSif Electronic Archive. They argue that if a ringed planet like Saturn was in close orbit of the star with tilted rings, it would seem to dim the light coming from it in an irregular pattern. The rings would first block the light as the planet passed in front of the star, followed by the planet itself, before the rings again blocked more light. And because the tilted rings would be at a different angle on each pass, it would appear to be a random occurrence. But with enough information, a pattern could be established. The experts believe Tabby's star may have revealed the early years of such a ringed planet, although further research is needed to confirm this. Writing in the paper, its authors said. In this work we studied a dynamical process, namely the lidoff cosi mechanism, capable of producing a quasi-periodic alteration of the transit's observable features of a young ringed close-in planet. In the light of our results, it could be possible to speculate about the nature of the hypothetical object orbiting Kik 8462852. Provided enough information one may fit the observable signatures to an oscillating disk of circumplanetary debris subject to LKM. We speculate that if consecutive observations evidence some signatures of a damping in the observed transit depth, we could be witnessing for the first time the disruption of a moon and the birth of a new ringed exoplanet. To test their theory the team simulated the light curve, the variation of a star's visual intensity over time, created by a ringed planet. They placed this around at a distance from Tabby's star equivalent to around one-tenth of the distance of the Earth from the Sun. They found that at this distance, the star's gravity would tug on the planet's rings making them appear to wobble. This would make the light distortion effect as viewed from Earth even more irregular. This is not the first time that a ringed planet has been suggested as an explanation for the star's behavior. In May, Fernando Ballesteros at the University of Valencia in Spain, and his colleagues wrote in Arxif about a gigantic ringed planet with clouds of comets that contain more mass than Jupiter. The team claimed that a dip in 2011 which reduced the brightness of Tabby's star by up to 15%, could be explained by a massive ringed planet five times the size of Jupiter transiting in front of it. The newfound wobble means that the planet could be the mass of Neptune, and still produce the same effect. Astronomers issued an internet-wide call to action in May, after discovering that Tabby's star has once again begun to dim. The mysterious phenomenon was first detected in 2015, when a star in the constellation Cygnus was found to be winking, with dramatic fluctuations in brightness. Since it was first detected, experts have been hard at work attempting to explain the fluctuations, which have seen brightness dip as much as 20% before reverting to normal. Some claim this could be evidence of a hypothetical structure which could be used by an advanced alien race to harness the energy of a star. If an alien megastructure really is to blame, one scientist has suggested that spotting it could be relatively easy, as long as experts focus on the right places. 
Professor Zaza Osmanov says that astronomers should turn their attention to 64 pulsar stars near our planet, which he believes offer the best chance of hosting an alien megastructure. In a paper published last year, Professor Osmanov said the alien megastructures are more likely to be shaped like thin disks rather than spherical shells. If his theory is correct, this would allow a Dyson sphere to exist in a star's habitable zone. Professor Osmanov argues that if the Dyson sphere does exist in a habitable zone, it should be easy to spot using infrared telescopes. He is urging astronomers to focus their search on 64 pulsar stars. In a paper published on ArcSIF, Professor Osmanov said, We have argued that by monitoring the nearby zone of the solar system approximately 64 pulsars are expected to be located inside it. But Professor Osmanov has warned that should we find the alien megastructure, it could be extremely powerful. He said. Rapidly rotating pulsars are very powerful, and harvesting their energy would be quite profitable, but a habitable zone would be much farther, and mass of a material required for constructing the mega ring would exceed the total mass of all planets, asteroids, comets, centaurs, and interplanetary dust in a typical planetary system by several orders of magnitude. This suggests that an alien civilization living on a megastructure could be strong enough to wipe out humanity.